Hi, welcome to the Riggin Farm YouTube channel. I'm Nick. And I'm Ashley. In this video, we're going to be sharing with you an update about our Clayton Homes Hancock 32 manufactured home. We posted a video about our entire experience when we purchased our home from Clayton Homes of Dalton, Georgia. So if you haven't already, make sure you watch that video. We'll go ahead and post a link for that in the video description below if you haven't seen it already. That video actually has gotten quite a bit of attention, and at the time of this recording, it has over 165,000 views and more than 1,000 comments. We actually had a woman who used to work for Clayton Homes see that video and reach out to us and let us know that she was kind of not surprised about the story that we shared, but at the same time, she felt that everybody at headquarters needed to see it, and apparently she emailed a link to that video to every single person in the company. Shocker. We didn't get any kind of feedback from Clayton about that video. Yeah, they never called to apologize or make any kind of offer to try to make up for a horrible experience. One thing that's kind of interesting about that is somebody in the comments on that video actually told us that when they were purchasing a Clayton Homes manufactured home, they had to sign a waiver stating that they would not make a video and share on social media about their experience. Apparently we did have an effect on how they do business, but not exactly the way we had expected. We've officially been in our home for a year now and we wanted to make a video with an update of how that's been. To start off, our one-year home warranty is officially expired, so if anything else happens with the home, we're kind of out of luck. The first thing we want to share with you is also probably the number one issue with not only our home, but every single home that Clayton Homes makes. Under every sink, shower, tub, and any other plumbing access point, there is one major flaw and Clayton knows about it. Large holes are cut into the bottom of the home at each of those access points to allow plenty of room for the pipes and faucets and everything else that goes into the plumbing. Unfortunately, these holes are not sealed up after the plumbing is installed. This allows an access point for small animals to gain access to the home by climbing up the plumbing. Even the space under your floorboards isn't safe from animals getting in from outside. Clayton Homes' website even states very clearly that the crawl space underneath the home is a very attractive place for animals to go and make shelter. The animals they list on their website are raccoons, possums, mice, and other rodents. Several months ago, we heard something making noise from the kitchen, near our dishwasher and under the kitchen sink. A few days later, we noticed some mouse droppings inside the cabinet underneath our kitchen sink. There's a really thin piece of particle board that was kind of covering the hole where the plumbing was, and a mouse was able to easily lift it up and crawl in and do whatever it felt like. We removed everything from our kitchen cabinet, taped down that piece of particle board, cleaned and sanitized everything, and put everything back, hoping that that would be the end of it. Two months went by without any more evidence of rodent activity. But then, the dishwasher stopped working. It was still under warranty, so we called the manufacturer, and they sent a repairman to come out and fix it. When the repairman came out and took the door off, he noticed that the ribbon cable for the control panel had been chewed by what looked like a mouse. He closed the door back up and said that he couldn't fix it, that pest damage was not covered. I wasn't home when he came, and after Ashley told me what happened, I called the manufacturer back, and they said that our warranty was voided because of the damage. We'll get back to the dishwasher in just a few minutes. A few days later, I woke up to find our cat playing with the dead mouse. Apparently, there was still a problem. A short time after that, we called Clayton Homes because there was some other stuff that we needed addressed while the home was still under warranty. One morning while brushing my teeth in the master bathroom, I noticed that there appeared to be staples coming through the plaster in our ceiling. As the house settles after it's been put into place, things like this can happen. When the maintenance guy came out, all he did was hammer it back in and give it a little patch, and it's been good ever since. We've recently started noticing them coming through other parts of the ceiling. But now our warranty's expired, so we'll have to do that ourselves. I mentioned to him the issue with the mouse, and he said, oh yeah, every home is like that. He even said he doesn't know why they put these giant holes underneath the sinks and other areas of plumbing, because this is a very common occurrence. We asked him if there was anything we can do, and he suggested that we just patch it or put some kind of insulation in there to prevent them from coming through. He said that because the dishwasher isn't covered by the Clayton Homes warranty, there was nothing he could do to try to fix it. We said it before in our previous video, the maintenance guy is honestly probably the best person that we've dealt with who works for Clayton Homes because he genuinely tries to do his best to make us happy. After a quick trip to Tractor Supply, Nick set up eight mouse traps and one rat trap in the crawl space under the home. 
That was a few months ago and we haven't seen any evidence of rodents in the house since. We have had some issues with a rodent problem outside of the house and we'll discuss that in a future video. We've talked about spraying some expanding foam insulation under our home in those particular areas, but we're not really sure if that's a good idea. Please comment below and let us know your opinion and if you have any experience with that. Let's get back to the dishwasher now. My dad was in town for a couple weeks and while he was here, he looked at the dishwasher and was like, hey, these wires are really easy to splice. So he stripped a little bit of the wire and put them together and voila, the dishwasher works now. Since our last video that we posted about our Clayton Homes experience, those are really the only issues we've had with the home. I mean, I don't know that after a year we should expect anything else to be going wrong. After all, like a roof and walls and all those things should be still good after a year. Talk to us again in 20 years and we'll see if we have any problems. Hopefully after watching this video, if you have a Clayton Homes manufactured home, you'll be on the lookout for those gaps so that you can fill them before you have an infestation. If you're considering buying from Clayton Homes, Make sure that if you decide anyway, that that's the first thing you do once you get access to the home. When you live in the middle of the woods like we do, pest control is a very serious subject. Please feel free to ask questions or leave comments down below because we'd really love to hear what you have to say and we do our very best to respond to everybody. What kind of issues have you had with your home after your warranty expired? Give us a heads up and tell us what to look forward to. <laughs> Hopefully not a whole lot. We really appreciate you watching this video update about our Clayton Homes Hancock 32. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.